Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, in which we address questions by divers about issues of common concern, sometimes simple, sometimes complex. At certain times we can answer the questions fully, and other times we need to refer them to additional resources or examination by a diving doctor. And of course, it's always the best thing to have a first-hand consultation. But nowadays, especially with COVID, sometimes telemedicine or distance instruction is becoming more and more commonplace. Now, we can't diagnose and we can't prescribe uh, over the phone. It's not in our South African Health Professions Council code for us to do so. But we can provide certain pointers and often uh, situations can be solved. Now, the question we have and are dealing with today is about abdominal surgery and diving. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver asking, they had had an umbilical hernia repair and a cholecystectomy, which basically means that their gallbladder has been removed and had happened in September 2019. Now we're well beyond that at this stage, so the question is uh, maybe a little late for you, but it still allows us to address the issue. And the answer to the question gets to a couple of core issues when it comes to getting back to diving in general. What we like to use more in an occupational health type of setting is three questions and they are ability, resilience and risk. And what you therefore need to ask yourself is has your ability to dive been restored? Or been affected. Secondly, are you able to dive, carry your tanks and undergo all the procedures and the experience of getting out maybe on the boat carrying gear, uh, dive after dive without injuring yourself? And finally, is there any potential risk to you or other divers? In this case, if it was a simple umbilical hernia correction and the cholecystectomy was done for no serious reason. In other words, it wasn't done because there was some pathology of the liver or there was something very seriously wrong with your gallbladder. Then usually six weeks after surgery, once the surgeon has released you from uh, further care and uh, basically told you you can carry on with your life, then it's usually safe for an individual to dive again. But the caveat is that there are no complications, that the hernia has healed completely, and of course that there is no aftermath, there is no ongoing concern that may influence uh, the safety of diving or for instance the need for medication. In the case of an umbilical hernia though, I would recommend that you should wait a little bit longer than the usual six weeks. And I would wait up to six months because umbilical hernia repairs, depending on how big they are, sometimes tend to recur. And unless you allow enough time for the connective tissue to become strong, the chances are you'll end up needing to have a further surgery in the future, which I'm sure you'd like to avoid. Hope that answers your question. Thank you for asking it. And for the rest of you watching, until next time, safe diving.